Okay. Um, so going back to, I think it was like year eight or year nine where you learned about compound interest. Um, and A is equal to P one plus R to the power of N. Where P is the principal, the original amount of money that you borrowed. A is the um, like future value. And um, also just noting for N, um, they'll give you like N and R actually even. So they'll like say that something's being compounded weekly or monthly or annually or quarterly or biannually or whatever. Um, so let's say that you're, you've got a question where it's like 6%, actually, no, let's make it a bit easier. Let's go 12% per annum compounded monthly. Now, our R and our N will be relative to our monthly part, okay? Even the, the percentage is per annum. So N for a year will be equal to 12. OK, and R will be equal to one plus 12 percent on 12 months because we're doing monthly. So it'll be 1.01 as opposed to like 1.12. Right. OK, just something to keep in mind. As I move forward. To a question. OK. Um, so here is the question. So a table shows the future value of an annuity of $1 for different interest rates for five, oh sorry, four, five, and six years. The contributions are made at the end of each year. Here's the future value of an annuity table. An annuity account is opened and contributions of $2,000 are made at the end of each year for seven years. For the first six years, the interest rate is 4% per annum compounded annually. For the seventh year, the interest rate increases to 5% per annum compounded annually. Calculate the amount in the account immediately after the seventh contribution is made. I'm going to give you a sec to do this one because it's definitely a tricky question. Um, and for those of you that haven't done this yet, that's okay because um, I'll go through everything. Okay, um, most of you guys would not have finished this question yet, uh, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to get you to pause and complete it right now and then come back once you are done. But I'm just going to get my OneNote because there's a lot of working and not enough space. Let's try that. I don't know if this will be helpful. We'll find out. OK, so firstly, I'm going to take a look at the table for the first part of the question. So for the first six years, the interest rate is 4% per annum. OK, and it's for the first six years. So I'm not sure if you guys have used annuity tables before. I think it was touched on in like year 10. I don't know if you guys have done financial math yet. But um, basically, annuity tables are really, really nice. Um, and what you need to do is you just need to take a look at the principal amount, how much you are like contributing. And in this case, we're contributing $2,000 each month. And we're just going to times it by this amount. So times 
which will be equal to $13,226, okay? So that's how much money you have in the first six years. But then they add a little twist to it. They're like, on the seventh year, um, the interest rises to 5% per annum compounded annually. Um, now, there's one problem with this. There actually isn't a 5% column. So I'm going to teach you what we could do to do this. And just using the simple, well, I can't say simple, the compound interest formula, um, which is, you know, A is equal to P1 plus R to the power of N, right? Um, so N, actually, so this is the amount till 6. A7 will be our P1 plus R to the power of N. Um, in this case, P is going to be A6, okay? So whatever we have in our, um, like, as our final amount using our table, so our last step. Um, so it'll be 13,226 times 1 plus 5% because we're compounding annually to the power of 1, okay? which will be times 1.05, okay, dollars 13,929.30. Now that's how much interest has been paid on the seventh year. However, I haven't included the final contribution that they make at the end of the year. So I'm going to add another 2,000 bucks. So my final answer is $15,929.30. That's how much um, whatever this dude's name is makes after seven years. Okay. Um, cool. Let's move forward.